implemented use of the uh, thousand base uh, six. Let me to review. It is used on short run copper. It runs over a pair of 150 ohm balanced coaxial cable. And after that, the maximum length is 25 meter. It is mainly for server connection. It uses 8B, 10B encoding with simple NRC. But let me to emphasize that in most cases, you don't use this standard. This standards rarely use in the network. Let me to explain the next thousand base model. Thousand base SX means short wavelength gigabit Ethernet is a type of a standard for implementing gigabit Ethernet networks. The SX in a thousand base SX stands for short at the end it indicate that this version of gigabit Ethernet is intended for use with short wavelength transmissions over short cable runs of uh, fiber optic cabling okay thousand base s6 te technologies are in the beginning stage of being widely implemented in enterprise level network and are primarily used for shorter cable runs between pieces of equipment within a building how it works thousand base s6 is an extension of a standard ethernet technologies to gigabit level network speed and thousand base s6 is implemented using only multi-mode fiber optic cabling cable segment length depends on the cable grade used and it means that for example if you use 50 um, micron multi-mode fiber you will have about 550 meter of extension and if you use uh, for example the diameter of 62.5 micrometer okay you will have only 260 meter of extension actually we can we can't use the uh, sm uh, the multi-mode fiber for long distances because here we use the short short wavelength and with multi-mode fiber you can reach only to uh, for example a, a smaller extension after that thousand base a6 is intended mainly for connecting high speed hops ethernet switches and rotors together in different wiring closets or building using long cables wrong okay thousand base a6 is most commonly implemented in a switch to switch a configuration and when multi-mode fiber optic cabling is used in thousand, thousand base a6 implementation a condition called differential mode delay or dmd can sometimes occur this condition occurs only in cabling of uneven quality and it leads to signal jitter that can disrupt network communication to resolve this problem newer thousand base a6 transceivers condition the signal to distribute its power equally among all transmission modes of the uh, cables let me to review thousand base a6 is a fiber optic gigabit ethernet standards for operation over multi-mode fiber using a, a, for example 850 nanometer of the wavelength and uh, the standard specify a distance capability between 200 uh, or 220 meter and 550 meter in practice with, with good quality fiber optics and terminators thousand base a6 will usually work over significant uh, significantly longer distances this standard is highly popular for intra building links in large office building collocation facilities and a carrier neutral internet exchange thousand base s6 sfp works at uh, 815 nanometer wavelength and used only for the uh, pr uh, purposed of the multi mode optical fiber with an lc uh, connector also it uses 8b 10b encoding with simple nrz the next standard is thousand base elix means long wavelength gigabit ethernet actually the thousand base elix is a type of standards for implementing gigabit ethernet network the elix in thousand base elix stands for long and it indicates that this version of gigabit ethernet is intended for use with long wavelength transmission over long cable runs of fiber optic cabling gigabit ethernet standards are you know that are defined in the 8 8 to 3z standards okay 
And when we talk about the thousand base elix, it means that thousand base elix is an extension of standard Ethernet technologies to gigabit level network space. And thousand base elix is implemented using either single mode fiber optic cabling or multi mode fiber optic cabling. And uh, cable segment lengths depends on the cable grade used here. For example, if you use single mode fiber, the maximum segment lengths will be 5000 meter up to 5000 meters or 5 kilometers okay when we use the cable grade with the 50 micron multi-mode fiber we will have 550 meters of maximum segment lengths and when we use again 62.5 micron multi-mode fiber we will have for example 440 meter thousand base elix is intended mainly for connecting high speed hops ethernet switches and rotors together in different wiring closets or building using long cabling runs and thousand base elix is most commonly implemented in a switch to switch configuration again here we have the uh, similar feature that we had before for example uh, in the um, thousand base SX, it uses again 8 b 10 b encoding with simple NRZ and as I mentioned before it uses long wavelength, long wavelength means 1300 nanometer. You know that we have three type of wavelength, of short, long and extra long. Short means 850 nanometer, long means 1300 nanometer and the extra long means 1550 nanometer and as you can see in the long wavelength we have the uh, for example 1300 nanometer and it can be used as i mentioned before with multiple mode or single mode uh, fibers in single mode fibers we can have the diameter between 8 micron and 9 uh, for example micrometer if you use 9 micrometer you will have 5 kilometer of uh, the uh, cable segment uh, or the uh, length of segment but if you use 8 micrometer you will have more than this maybe uh, for example up to uh, 10 or 20 or more than this about the maximum segment lengths now let me to talk about the thousand base t gigabit ethernet over utp you know that thousand base t is a type of standard for implementing gigabit ethernet network the t in thousand base t identifies it is an extension of the traditional 10 base t and also 100 base t ethernet technologies for transmission over copper uh, unshielded twisted pair or UTP cabling. Actually, gigabit Ethernet standards are defined in the 802.3z and 802.3ab standard for project 802 developed by the IEEE. Thousand base T technologies are in the beginning stage of being widely implemented in enterprise level networks and they are primarily used for short and high speed interconnects uh, with the, uh, for example, wiring closets and for connecting high speed workstation to wiring closets. How thousand base T work? Let me to explain it. About the thousand base T, it is an extension of standard Ethernet technologies to gigabit level network speeds. Thousand base T is normally implemented using the commonly installed category five cabling or enhanced category five cabling version of UTP cabling. Thousand base T uses all four pairs of wi uh, wires in a standard UTP cabling as opposed to the uh, two pair of wires used in 10 base T and also 100 base T networks. Using all four pairs of UTP cabling has certain associated problems because of uh, the attenuation, a crosstalk and echoes arising from full duplex transmission over single wires. The 802.3ab standards specify special filters for hybrid circuits using in full duplex transmission over single wires. A special five level pulse amplitude 
a modulation or PAM encoding a mechanism instead of binary signals. Forward error correction techniques and pulse shaping techniques or technologies to make 1000 base T a function and reliable networking technology. Cable segments for 1000 base T have a maximum length of 100 meters and 